safety. Saul may turn out to be a great player. Weatherspoon on the first carry. Last week, he averaged over 12 yards a carry. This time, he's got 17. The beauty of the run and shoot, it is not just a passing offense. Look at the numbers on Weatherspoon. 9.6 yards a carry last year. Broke the NCAA record. Klingler has missed his first two at second and ten. Three-man rush this time. Klingler in trouble, got away. Whistle still had not blown, and he throws complete. Got it to Craig Alexander. He was in the grasp of Charles Rowe, but Rowe could not bring him down. Wants to go deep again, has Brown open with the five, touchdown! And just that quick, this powerful run and shoot offense lights up the scoreboard in only a minute, three seconds of the first quarter. Style. He took the first half of it, <laughs> the run part. <laughs> Weatherspoon cuts it outside. What a stiff arm. Runs over another tackler, crosses midfield, 45, still on his feet to the 40-yard line. He buried Ronald Ferguson and then killed Dubisky in the process. What a load. Don't think that Weatherspoon is not an outstanding talent at running back. He's the only running back they have, but he is a bowling ball type runner. Good speed, able to deliver a good hit, physical. I think his size is a factor. Those short strides, I think, make him a little bit better of a runner. Look at him. That's a stiff arm. Oh. His arm's just long enough to get that kind of leverage. And then he just ran right up Dubisky's chest. Moving on the line, a flag is down. Klingler floats it as a man wide open. Touchdown, Sherman Smith. Ferguson beaten badly. We will check the penalty. It's against Texas Tech, and the touchdown will stand. Comes the blitz. Klingler gets rid of it. Alexander, five, touchdown. What a call against the blitz. Are you kidding? Greg Jones, the center, threw a terrific block. And Alexander waltzed into the end zone untouched. And that's what John Jenkins means when he said, if we do it right, you can't stop this offense. Jenkins talking about Klingler said that boy he's got all the things you want in a quarterback in this offense he's got a strong arm he's intelligent and he wants to be a good player he really wants to learn this offense second and ten Weatherspoon big hole up the middle oh. bowls over Saul and gets to the ten and you better get the license number when he gets loose in the secondary Spoon can do some damage they have no timeouts left Weatherspoon. Touchdown. What a call. They spread the defense all over the field and then give it to the little guy, and he just rambles up the middle. Weatherspoon, 10 carries, 96 yards, and a touchdown. Your secondary back, so you've got a soft side to the right side, and they're going to come back with a running play. See, they just don't have the manpower, and what... I mean, everybody gets really rolled up inside, good block in the inside, blocking away, isolating an opportunity for Weatherspoon to go into the end zone. Wingo, the middle linebacker, was the only man who had a chance to make the play. He's the guy who's got to make the play in that defense, and he overran it. What's up, Mom? What's up, Dad? What's up, Callie? What's up, Bruin? What's up, Bruin? Pretty good first half, isn't it? Hey, Mom, how you doing? How about you, Mom? How about that, Mom? The running backs you wouldn't think would be real happy with a run and shoot. And they're down 28-21. That's the end of the first half. We'll be back to Lubbock, Texas after this.